I am getting my right. steps in, and what a time to notice as Delilah Doom steps in there with Savannah Stone. Both of these competitors have a LinkedIn profile filled with accolades that would impress wrestlers all around the globe, whether it be Savannah Stone, being at places like Black Label Pro, being at places like CCW, or Delilah Doom being Tag Team of the Year, Women's Wrestler of the Year here in SoCal. Both of them incredible at what they do, and we get to see them here tonight. Savannah Stone, one of the hardest competitors you're gonna come across, and I say that as far as her hits, her slams, her moves, everything she does brings a lot of heat. Fake out from Delilah Doom though, Doom! She may be fun, but she is a hard of worker as they come. Might have the best cardio in all of wrestling. That cross body bringing down Savannah Stone and now making Savannah get her steps in with an Irish whip, but Savannah says no, thank you, reverses it, doesn't do her any favors as the sunset flip happens, and <laughs> another reversal, and look, you can have all the hurricane rodas and sunset flips you want, but a good old-fashioned kick to the guff is always gonna do the trick. And now Savannah, speaking of toothless, flapping her gums at the crowd here. Let them fight, yeah. come on. Well, letting them fight definitely goes to Savannah's advantage. She is the, the one, the brawler, the fighter. But and the longer this match goes on, assuming that Delilah Doom doesn't get knocked out, I have to imagine the advantage goes to her with all the jazzercise and aerobics she's do doing. She's got to have that fire in her to keep going. The missile drop kick, picture perfect, sending down Savannah Stone. And this could be the opening that Delilah Doom is needed in the fans. This is the opening they've been wanting to see as they cheer for her, firing up, getting a few steps in. Stars, oh, 69, oh, 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 oh. calling her back. But Delilah Doom fighting back, not giving up, not even backing down a little bit through the bites, through the hair pulling, through the double teaming. Delilah Doom continues to strike back, punching Stone, but it's never a good idea to get into a slug fest with someone they call Stone. Savannah Stone unbreakable, but Delilah Doom seems almost undeniable as she gets thrown back for a suplex and gets right back up, goes behind and throws one of her own. Where is she getting this energy? Well, she's checking her pulse, so she must be getting it from deep down. And the people are beating with the heartbeat of Delilah Doom as she shakes her fist and the people cheer and she stomps her feet. And Savannah Stone is up and ducks, ducks. And a headbutt takes them both down. Ding dong. What do you say? If you're James Brady, what do you say to Savannah Stone? You have an opponent that you've been hitting with everything you got, and she continues to get up and continues to fight. If you're James Brady, what do you tell you, Savannah Stone? You are gonna have to light a fire in her. You're gonna have to say something to get her riled up enough to just get that last push, that last burst of energy to be able to take her out. What is this? This is dangerous. Sparkle oh! motion <laughs> up the top, goes for the pin. She won. That was pure luck. Pure luck. That was, I mean, that could have gone any way. That was a lucky shot. You know, it was a tough one. It was a hard fought one. But when you continue to fight back and you continue to press on through all the adversity that Delilah Doom just went through, you can't call it luck. You gotta call it heart. You gotta call it passion. That's what Santino Brothers is all about. Listen, I don't want to discount Delilah Doom in any way, shape, or form. I guess a little bit of perseverance goes a long way. However, Savannah Stone put up a hell of a fight in there. These two, if they, if they want to run it back, I think anyone here would love to see that one again. Two exceptionally talented individuals in that ring. What a matchup.